Hi, I'm Aaron from Aperture Burn, and today I'm going to demonstrate the WMD Geiger counter. This guy right here. I'll go over the front panel controls. Uh, you have the input to the gain stage with the preamp. Here's the pot for the preamp. And in that gain stage, you have the tone control, which is actually a filter. Anything below noon is low pass, and above noon is band pass. And you have the toggle switch to enable that tone control right there. Uh, down here we have direct in, which bypasses the preamp and gain stages and tone control altogether. So it would, if you go into here, then uh, what you're getting is everything below. Uh, below that we have the sample rate CV input, an attenuator for it, and a bias control for it. The bit depth CV input, attenuator, and bias control for it. Below that, you have the wavetable CV input, the wavetable selection. Below that, the output, the level control for the output, and the CV control for the wavetable selector. If you press in the wavetable selector knob, if you press it in like a button, you have all these lights going on and off, and it just changes the way that. Uh, the sample rate and bit depth behave. With the sample rate you can get a finer control not as coarse and it's uh, limited more to the upper range to where uh, it's a kind of a more usable range and you also have the option on the sample rate to um, add, add uh, an anding function uh, to the wave shaping or to the CV control that's going in and same with the bit depth, there's that anding function that's, at, that's anding the uh, CV and you can also select whether or not the, the bit crushing is happening uh, pre or post wave shaping. For this demo I'm going to have a wave from the gamma wave source into the Geiger counter into the VCA. Very basic and uh, all control voltages are going to be silent wave via the ES1. Okay, we're going to just hear the raw waveform from the gamma wave source first. Okay, not, not much interesting going there. Let's patch in the Geiger counter. If I can grab the cable. Not much is going on in the way of um, the preamp because these are just kind of at noon. Tone enable is disabled right now. I'm going to go ahead and scan through some of the waves and we'll see how the wave shape shaping reacts as far as the sound goes. going to enable the tone control so you can see how that uh, filter section affects the sound. Oh, low pass. And I'll show you the above noon it's a band pass. I'll go ahead and disable it. I'll show you the sample rate reduction. There, that, that 
that's a bit more effective to the demo in demonstrating the sample rate reduction. Uh, since there's not much going on in dynamics, the bit reduction probably is not going to do much. Yeah. But uh, let's patch an LFO into sample rate reduction. LFOs into the wavetable selector, CB. Some of the math applied is apparently uh, interacting with the signal in order to basically gate it. So let's select some other stuff. around on the tone. Okay, let's hear that uh, original signal again. So we went from that to this. Much more character than that one, I would say. Anyhow, that's the uh, Geiger counter. <laughs> 